Hi there. Happy New Year. It's January the 1st, 2019, and I'm just making this extra section of my video blog for those of you who've been following through the scriptures with me uh, over the 2018. Uh, I just wanted to make this special short video blog just to mark something special, an occasion that I just wanted to um, remind us of. 500 years ago today, on January the 1st, 1519, in the Swiss city of Zurich, the preacher there, the priest there, whose name was Huldreich Zwingli, stood up and made a great departure from the usual uh, run-of-the-mill things that he was doing in his preaching. He started, instead of sticking with the lectionary, instead of sticking with the uh, the set readings that had been given him by the church for that day, he went to Matthew chapter 1 and he began to expound uh, little by little the book of Matthew. And he went right through that book and then went through the Acts of the Apostles and then went through the letters of Paul and then the Old Testament, little by little, systematically going through the books uh, of the Bible that uh, God had shown him to, to expound. That uh, was because of his own quest to know the reality of the original scriptures. A few years before, Erasmus of Rotterdam had published a Greek New Testament. This was very unusual because ordinary people were not usually given access to the the original languages of the scriptures, those were seen to be kept for the, 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 the high doctors of the church and the, those, the priests who were in charge of the, uh, the liturgies. And so it was seen as a dangerous thing for people to get hold of the Greek scriptures. But here Erasmus had produced a copy of the Greek New Testament and it was this that Huldreich Sfingli took and had been working on and had been expounding and was finding that there was much more in this book. There was much more uh, depth and much more breadth in this book than he had so far been led to see through the church's teaching up until that time. And so he began, as I say, systematically to unpack the scriptures using the original languages. He formed a small group as well of students, and uh, among those students were two called Felix Mans and Conrad Grebel. And within a few years, Felix Mans and Conrad Grebel had become the leaders of a new movement, of a radical reformation. Huldreich Swingley himself had uh, stayed in the state church, or had stayed in the what we call the magisterial church. He was willing to rely on the power of the state to enforce and to sometimes to coerce the will of the church. But these folks, Conrad Grebel and Felix Mans, were what we call original Anabaptists, and one of their uh, themes was that they don't coerce people, that faith has to be something that comes from their hearts. And so they very much are those that I would look to as being an origin, as being a source of what we're seeking to do today, that out of the faith of our hearts, we're continuing to give ourselves to the study of scriptures. And for me, that includes in the original languages, which are so powerful and which allow us to break out of uh, others' interpretation and having to look at things from the monopoly of a great language. We today live in a, a place where English has become a real monopoly language and so many people speak English, we're in danger of just relying on the English translations that we have. But when we can go back to the originals and we can pick things out and we can look at what's going on, then it gives us so much more insight, so much more depth and breadth, just as it did for Uldrax Fingley on that January the 1st, 1519, half a millennium ago. Have a very good 2019 and enjoy the rest of this day, January the 1st.